All right, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna talk about different things that you need to know about coding bootcamps. I have been a coding bootcamp instructor for almost two years, so I do have some things that I'd like to share with y'all. And we're gonna start by talking about what are coding bootcamps. And the idea behind the coding bootcamp is to get you from knowing absolutely nothing about the code to where you will be able to build all different sorts of cool software. So you pretty much go from zero to hero. And there are different types of bootcamps. There are bootcamps for mobile development, if you're interested in building some mobile applications. There are bootcamps for data science, if you wanna know more about machine learning. And of course, there are bootcamps for web development, if you're interested in building websites. And they all cover completely different fields. So before you choose what type of bootcamp you'd like to attend, make sure you do your own research of what is actually being taught there. And it is really important to understand what's actually covered in the bootcamp because I was a coding bootcamp instructor and a lot of students on their very first day come to the bootcamp and ask if they, if they will be able to build different games or build an artificial intelligence when the bootcamp that they're actually attending is a web development bootcamp and it is focusing on building websites such as the one that you're currently using, YouTube. However, after choosing the field that you want to dive into, such as web development, for example, technologies that will be taught are also going to differ across different bootcamps. And as an example, some bootcamps might go over different coding languages. So one bootcamp might go over only JavaScript and go over it in depth when the other bootcamp is going to cover two different coding languages, such as Ruby and JavaScript or Python and JavaScript, but they won't necessarily go in depth and cover different intricacies of the particular language. And I'm not going to go over pros and cons for that. Perhaps I'll go over it in the next videos. Also, bootcamps offer different types of programs. And most of them have immersive program, meaning that it's going to be nine to five every weekday but there might be a part-time option available. And the length of each program is going to differ and for immersive program is going to be anywhere from two to six months and for part-time options it could be a year or even more. And since I was an instructor for the immersive program, we will be using it as an example for the rest of the video. So now let's talk about how these bootcamps actually work. And each bootcamp works completely different, which makes a lot of sense because they're essentially different companies with their own set of views on a particular subject. But typically, most of the bootcamps will give you tons and tons of information and expect you to digest it and retain it all. Bootcamps are essentially for speed learners. So if you've ever experienced exam cramming, this is pretty much how you're gonna feel like throughout the whole program. And when I was a bootcamp instructor, I used to warn students on their very first day that they're essentially going to be drinking from the fire hose. It is that intense. You will be getting tons and tons of materials. You will be getting projects to solidify it. And on top of that, you will also be expected to do your homework. So if you're planning to attend a bootcamp, make sure you're comfortable with that amount of workload. You're not only going to be responsible for managing all the materials that you're assigned, but you're also going to be responsible for managing your stress. And all that brings me to the next point. Is that easy? And as you might have already guessed, it is not easy at all. Yes, most boot camps are going to be nine to five, but don't really expect it to be over after that. In fact, most of the students at a boot camp clock on average 80 to 100 hours per week. Boot camps won't be spoon feeding you with all the information. You will be expected to put a lot of hours outside of that nine to five. And I've already mentioned that you will be given homework. But on top of that, there will be some materials that you don't really understand. So you would wanna go over that again. You would wanna revisit that. And there will also be some projects that you haven't finished from previous days. So you wanna finish that. So basically you will be juggling many different things at once. So boot camps are baking on the fact that you enjoy coding as well as problem solving. Thus, a lot of people actually quit on their very first week because they're just not, they're just not into putting so many hours into something that they don't really like. And as an example, which might be an extreme example, but still, go watch a Navy SEAL bootcamps video and this is pretty much how your brain is going to feel like. Now let's talk about is it actually worth it? And it depends on a lot of factors. Don't really expect coming to the bootcamp and getting all the information that couldn't be found for free on the internet. Everything that you will learn there could be found somewhere on the internet. Well, you might ask yourself, why am I paying so much money for something that could be found on the internet? 
But the truth is, it is actually pretty hard to find something when you don't know what to look for. A lot of times someone actually needs to show you where to get that information, which resources are good resources and which resources are bad resources. And all that essentially comes with experience. But don't think of boot camps as just a bunch of people showing you the way. You will get a lot of materials developed by the curriculum team, lectures, exercises, and all that good stuff. However, you can ask every software engineer out there about how it is important to Google stuff. And it is pretty damn important. At the bootcamp, you will be able to ask your instructors on anything. Well, at least hopefully on anything. But when you're in the wild, you're on your own. So boot camps not only provide you with a bunch of materials and exercises, they also teach you how to find these answers yourself. And aside all the knowledge that you'll gain, most boot camps help you to find a job. And this is another part that you're actually paying for, but the key word here is help. Don't expect to get a job right after graduating. You will need to put a lot, a ton of work to get a job. And finding a job is a completely different topic that has a lot of moving pieces to it. But boot camps definitely help. They will go over your LinkedIn resume, your project. They will make sure that everything looks polished. They also will give you a bunch of pointers on how to get a job. On top of that, they also have the alumni network and networking is really important and they will definitely encourage you to reach out to them and build that connection. So to conclude the question of whether it's going to be worth it, if you're super disciplined, if you know what you need to learn, if you know where to get the information, if you have experienced job hunting and comfortable doing it on your own, then you probably don't really need a bootcamp. However, if you think that you definitely need help with any of these aspects, or you simply need a kick in the butt, which is going to be quite an expensive kick, but nonetheless, boot camps might be an option for you. And that's it for that video. And if you're someone that's looking to get into coding or simply wanna know more about coding boot camps, go ahead and subscribe and I'll catch you later.